So just about where we're standing now, that's where the water level used to be. And we got footage from last year. You had boats moving about. Water level was just uh, around here, plus or minus. There were a boat, there was a boat here. It looks like the uh, rangers, they removed that derelict. And once the, uh, once that little sandbar grew and cut off this, essentially this area became kind of a pool, then it quickly dried off as you can see here. If the water level continues its uh, decline, then whatever temporary closed boat launch they're probably going to be uh, permanently closed boat launches, like uh, pretty much like what you have a government wash. So, you know, if the water level rises up again, recovers, then those uh, temporary closures, maybe there'll be uh, active sites for uh, recreational boating down the line. We'll see what happens. There are many parts of Lake Mead are going to be interesting to geologists, everything from geologists to astrophysicists, because the, the way the uh, scientists, they tell there was water on Mars is because water, um, the path of water through, basically through canyons on the soil, on the ground, it leaves a, it leaves a telltale sign. So it's easy to tell what was a dry lake bed where basically you, you see those things that look like um, where rivers cut a canyon. They look like dry washes, almost, they look just like the dry washes that you would see in uh, around Lake Mead.